I'm going to have a few minutes here to talk to Jason Hardy about the uh, upcoming new 5th edition Shadowrun. I'm, okay, hold on, let me redo that because it's not upcoming. It is out. We actually have a copy of it in here. I'm not going to dick with getting it out because uh, we've already taken up enough of this fine gentleman's time. A lot of things going on with Shadowrun this year. Holy cow. Absolutely. We call it the year of Shadowrun because uh, we're doing things we haven't ever done before and it's exciting. What all do you guys have coming out and ha that has actually already come out before right now? Uh, well, the big one that came out is the uh, fifth edition of Shadowrun that we have here at Gen Con. I've uh, been working on it for a long time. We're really happy with the way it turned out, really happy with the reception it's gotten so far. Uh, just tried to make it easier to get into, but also more balanced and just more fun for everyone playing it. So that's going on. Uh, Shadowrun Returns, the video game, came out uh, end of July. That was Harebrained Schemes who put that out. Okay. Uh, but we had a lot of our freelancers work on that, and I have a lot of tie-ins with that. And that's if you haven't looked at the images of that and the visuals they put into that, it's beautiful. Later in the fall, uh, something we've never done before, which is a deck building game for Shadowrun, okay. uh, Shadowrun Crossfire. So we've been demoing it at the show, uh, giving out demo kits to people around at the Shadowrun gaming area. And we will have the complete game in the fall, so we're looking forward to that. And we are also working on a miniatures game called Sprawl Gangers. It's going into its third playtest phase. And so uh, I, I just had someone come up to the booth and thank me for being allowed to play test it, which they're doing us a favor. So it's great when uh, people respond like that. So we're excited to see where this is going to go and, and see the different ways people can experience Shadowrun and how much fun they can have in it. And there's another video game, uh, Shadowrun Online, coming out. That's a browser-based game okay. that will come out in the late fall. Hmm. And then we have it even more in 2014, but, you know, I think that's enough for what we're doing right now. Good grief. Is that a, is that everything that's out right now? Uh, all the new stuff? Uh, well, we also are going to fully support the RPG line. So we have a couple adventure compilations that are out now, dual statted for 4th and 5th. One called Sprawl Wilds, the other is called Firing Line. And then we're working on plenty of other books. So we'll have an introductory adventure for Shadowrun uh, called Splintered State. We'll have a source book introducing a new plot line that we kind of started in 4th edition in the last book uh, called Stormfront. And then we're going to have an introductory box set, which I'm really excited about because it'll be a good way to get new players into Shadowrun. And uh, we, we have that almost done. That should also be a fall release. How compatible is 5th edition going to be with 4th edition? How uh, Are people going to have any trouble uh, converting their old characters over? Or uh, Character-wise, I don't think it'll give you too much trouble. The attributes are the same. Okay. The skills are only slightly changed, and there are other adjustments here and there, but we released a character conversion guide. Excellent. So uh, if you go to our website or to Drive Through RPG, you can get it for free, and it'll take you step by step what you need to do to convert your character so you can be ready to roll pretty quick. Cool. So, um, you know, those of us who already have collections of fourth edition, we won't have to completely replace all those. We can just start collecting the 5th edition and still use our old supplements? Yeah, absolutely. You can bring your characters forward, and there's an uh, if there are NPCs in the old supplements, you can convert them using the character converter. Uh, gear will take a little bit more work in some cases, but uh, you can still bring a lot of the material forward, and of course the plot material, the setting material. We didn't do a big leap uh, forward in the change to edition, so we're still continuing the timeline, so a lot of the plot material is very relevant. Okay, well that's exactly what we want to hear with the new edition coming out. This is what more could we ask for there. Yeah, we didn't want to lose any players, because uh, we love our fourth edition players, we love our fifth edition players, we want to make it easy for all of them. That's awesome. Okay, so you got a demo running for this new uh, card building type game. You want to tell me a little bit about how, what that's going to be like? Yeah, it's going to be a cooperative deck building game, so it's going to be very much the Shadowrun experience where okay. you can take, uh, take out a character of a human, elf, dwarf, or orc. Okay. And then you can be a spellcaster, you can get some magic for you, or you can be more uh, decking oriented or more combat oriented street samurai type. And uh, there'll be a lot of obstacles and different missions to complete as you overcome these obstacles. But one thing I'm really excited about that I haven't seen much in a deck building game is there will be a chance for you to advance your character. So there'll be some stickers included in it. So as you complete missions, you can build up karma and gain bonuses for your character as you build that up. And then the missions will get increasingly difficult. And so you'll have to do things that you couldn't do right out of the box but as you gain those stickers, you'll be able to take on missions and do harder things. It's going to be really interesting to see that in play. Well, thanks so much for your time. We've been speaking with Jason Hardy about the new uh, Shadowrun stuff that's coming out from Catalyst Games. Definitely check this out because it looks like it's going to be very cool, especially if you're already a Shadowrun player. We've heard it like pretty much right from the horse's mouth. You're still going to be able to play. It's going to be awesome. It's not going to be, uh, I'm going to have to bleep this, but it's not going to be the 4.0 fuck you, and that's uh, exactly what we want to hear. Thanks a lot.
Thanks for talking. All right, thank you. Thank you.